Hi there, Michelle Miles and Miles and Accountants. So, do you rent out a property through Airbnb? Then read on a bit. So, what's happening with Airbnb? They have disclosed in their current accounts is that they are basically going to be declaring to HMRC everybody who's let a property through them for 17, 18 and 18, 19. So that's effectively the last three years. So if you've been renting a property via Airbnb, HMRC are gonna have you on the list. Now, firstly, don't panic, all right? There are procedures in place for this. If your property income is under a thousand pounds, it doesn't need to be declared because under a thousand pounds property income is not declarable to HMRC, but that's the income, not the net, all right? So that's okay if you're under a thousand pounds. If you're under seven and a half thousand pounds, you may be able to claim rent a room allowance. Now, this has a lot of factors, but the main thing that you have to watch out for is it has to be in your own home and basically the person visiting your own home is going through the same door as you so it can't be letting out a second home or something like that that won't work it has to be in your own home so that may be another reason why you don't have to but you still have to inform HMRC that you've got rent a room income even if it wasn't taxable next step is then basically having to declare it to HMRC the best thing to do is to come clean before they get you because one of the main things is, is if you come clean to them, then you get a reduced penalty. It's much reduced if you can take advantage of the Let Property campaign, which is for properties in the UK and for residential properties, not commercial properties. So if you can come under the Let Property campaign, that's where Marsden's accountants have been specialising in this for over seven years now since the campaign started. So you're in the right place watching this video. But yeah, Airbnb income, if you've got some of it, then make sure it's on your self-assessment tax it might be that you just have to do an adjustment to your current self-assessment tax return or it might be that you have to get into the self-assessment tax return system all right so watch out for that but yes Airbnb have now announced through their December 19 accounts that they will be reporting all of their customers to HMRC so that means they'll know about you it may take them a year it might take them longer to get to you so don't think because you haven't heard in a few months that they haven't got to you yet because hmrc do work in their own mysterious ways so yeah so they will be coming to you at some point they'll put it together with the other information they know as well um, about people who've got two properties and things like that as well um, and they'll they'll concentrate probably on those with the highest income first and work their way through that very long list so yeah watch out there's billions being spent on airbnb so yeah please Please make sure you can come clean before HMRC gets you. Reduce penalties means you can sleep at night as well. And there's, like I say, there's lots of things potentially that could do could be claimed. Uh, so don't put it off. Do it today. Um, I had somebody approach me last week. Uh, 13 years of non-declarable income. The longer you leave it, the harder it is to come clean because you realise the, the higher the tax bill is going to be because the longer the interest goes back for and the higher the penalties because it's so long. So don't put it off. Do it today. You know, um, COVID has taught people a lot of things and a lot of people have thought about it during this time is they really do need to come clean and they need to tell HMRC that they have been having rental income, whatever form it is, whether it's Airbnb or whether it's just a tenancy, whatever it may be, a lot of people have been thinking about coming clean during this time just so they can wipe the slate clean. So yeah, it's your turn as well. All right, time to shine.